Hi guys, Abbott is back with the final episode of VFL Brighton, my pro in VFL. Now guys, this is the mini cup run, we're looking to win the EFL Cup. There's a few tough games, but first up, it's against Leicester, I do believe this is the last 16, and my bad, I made a noob error and forgot to record any of the first half. And this is the second half, but luckily there were no goals, so we didn't miss anything, so we're into the action now. We're passing it around at the start of half, uh, second half, just trying to keep possession, working and opening, trying to pull them out of shape. And this is more like it. This is how we want to play, or this is how I want us to play. And Mr. Velvet Blue's got it here, and we're still keeping possession, as you can see. Total Foot's got it. It's a good one-two between him and Justin. And then it's finally intercepted. But now Doc's got it, but he's challenged really well, but it's broken to Mr. Velvet Blue. He's running down the right. He crosses it in, and the defender just manages to get in between Carlos and the goal. So Carlos actually heads it against him. And from the corner, there you can see, there's a little bit of a scramble, but again, they managed to get it clear. Now we've got it again here at the back of Reese. It's a great switch of play. A little layoff from Justin, but it's gone all the way back to the goalkeeper. Would have liked to have gone forward there, but it's a good kick. In the air, I've got it here now. I play it into Carlos. Carlos is still the any at this time. He's coming forward. He's trying to hold him off. The ball breaks to its tumness. What can he do? A little fake elastico. Cuts inside the box. Tries to slide it into Carlos, but they managed to get in front of him. Six three. Clock. Now we've got 68 minutes on the clock. It's Tumnus out to Justin. Down the line to Doc. Doc with a little ball well, a little bit of trickery inside. He cuts inside, crosses it into Carlos. And it's just off the defender for a corner. And from the corner, Mr. Velvet Blue whips it in. We're going for the back post knocked down. Justin picks up the pieces, he puts it straight in the mix, but they clear it again. 71 minutes on the clock. And now from this corner, again, we whip it in. This time it's the front post flick on. There's a little bit of scramble. It fouls the total foot, but he's now set up as a centre back. Slashes it over the bar. And now at the back, Carlos has got it with the AI. He plays it into himself. That's a great flick onto Doc. Doc is through. Now can he just keep it going? He hits it early. And it's in off the post. And that's a keeper's nightmare. And we go one nil up, 76 minutes on the clock. We probably just about deserve to be ahead. We had much the stronger second half. It's a great ball from Tum. Good cut out from the keeper. And Leicester come away with it. And then from that break, it's 81 minutes on the clock. They're coming forward. It's lovely work, one twos in the middle there. He puts it into the box. Jay is going to claim that, claim that all day. But now they come forward again. It's out wide. He swings it in, and we manage to get a good defensive clearance on that. It comes straight back to him, but Tumnus clears it. And then it's cleared even further to Doc. Now it's Doc and Carlos, but he manages to run into the defender. Now they've got a long throw, the 90th minute. It's a great throw, but the keeper just takes that all day long. It's a big kick now. Up to Carlos. This is it. There's no goalkeeper there. You can see him trying to get back. There's someone on the line. But Doc smashes it in anyway to make it 2 0. Looks a bit more comfortable than it was, but we did control the second half. And I would say we deserve the victory. So there we are. We are now into the quarterfinals, I believe. <clears throat> and I do believe we will be playing hell. So unlucky Leicester and Brighton go through to the cup next round. There are my stats 100% passing, you know. This is just uh, the highlights at the end of the game. I thought I'd just put highlights of the goals in again so you could see them. Put a little bit of uh, daydream effect on it. But it, you don't get many replays during the game because everybody's just skipping replays, and that's fair enough. But sometimes, you know, as video content creators, we want to get the replays. So the best thing we can do is go to the end of the game and get the highlights from there. Next up, it's Hell, and hopefully 
he can do well again. And like I said before, guys, this we are in this cup because we got knocked out of the FA Cup, I believe, in the first round. So that's why we then end up into the League Cup. And I think that's a brilliant system. Props to the VFL for that. I think that's a really, really good system. So we've got Hull, and there it's Stoke Stadium, which is probably the worst stadium ever. The pitch is terrible to play on, but you know, it's, it's what you have to do. Well, that's risky going in like that. So there's an early foul on Doc there. We get this free kick right on the halfway line. It's only five minutes on the clock. Pump it in from foot. And probably the shortest man on the pitch. It's Tumnus. It's all about the timing. Pops up and just flicks it past the goalkeeper. Gets his head on it. And there you can see him. Look, he just flicks it past the goalkeeper to make it 1-0. Another early goal which settles the nerves Moving very forward, easy back. Holler coming forward Good now, job. that's a good Real shot. Jai deals with it comfortably, corner. to be honest with you. And then they've got a corner 10 minutes on the clock. They whip in the corner, but Jai is so commanding in the corners and crosses on his box. He just comes and takes everything. Now Tom has got it, he's coming forward. He's had a pop shot, they were backing off, so he had a pop shot, but nothing comes of that. Now Mr. Velvet Blue's got it here. It was probably the tackle button, but hey, who have a shot. Now Tom has got it here. He's running at him again. He plays a through ball to Carlos. Carlos is carrying it. He looks slow, but he's gone past his man. Now we're looking for the cutback. It doesn't come. They managed to get a block in. And now we've got a corner, 45th minute. It's a good corner to the back post. It's a good knockdown. The shot didn't test the keeper enough. And that is half time, guys. And there are the stats at half time. There you can see it. We've had the best of possession. We've definitely had the better of the shots. Can we keep it going? They have a free kick here. He dinks it over the wall. But that is great defending. They get a good blocking, but it comes back to Hull. Again, Reese is getting in the way. And look at that. That's great defending again. The keeper makes the save and his defence back him up by holding it and clearing it out. Again, it's a great header out, but it comes to a whole player again. It's another comfortable save. 64 minutes on the clock. Hull coming down the left. Reese intercepts it, plays it back to Jay. Put him in a bit of trouble there, but luckily Jay took it away from his goal mate. And now they're coming again. 67 minutes on the clock. That's a good cross. And that save. That could be the winning save. That could be the game winning save. That could have only 1 0. But Hollister keeps coming forward. That's a great ball on the top. He looked offside. But he just can't get the shot off he wants. And that's because he was fouled. So now they've got a shot in the deep. He must defend his lads. Come on. We're going to look to charge this as soon as we can. It's probably going to be a layoff. He rolls it to the wall because the man moves. He didn't get the lock on. And we managed to clear it. But they're coming forward again. Fair place to Hull. He's had a shot. But it's not enough in the corner to trouble Jay. 74 minutes on the clock. Goes Jay with the kick. Up to Carlos. Carlos with the lovely knockdown to Doc. Come on, Doc. Finish this game off. And he puts it wide. Unbelievable. So the nerves are still jangling. Now it's a ball into the box. It's a great ball. But Justin gets the header. But it's not going to trouble the goalkeeper. It's over anyway. Now Hull are coming forward again. Now 83 minutes on the clock. That's a good shot. With one we would expect Jay to save. But they've got a corner from it. What can they do? They swing it in. And there you go, Jay's come again and punched it to relieve the pressure. Dot calmly out to Mr. Velvet. Now they're working it between the sides. It's a good switch. A great flick on from Carlos. Tums offside, but I think he was expecting the ball first time. But again, another great knockdown from Carlos to Dock. And Dock had us a shot, but it blocked by the keeper. I've got the defender. The goalkeeper's gone mad. That's why I said goalkeeper. What is he doing? Dock cuts it back and he's put it straight to the goalkeeper and he eventually clears it up the pitch. We win the header again. Tom's got it in the middle. Now they're coming forward again, but it's too late. And Brighton, VFL Brighton, are in the League Cup semi-finals. And I do believe we're going to be playing Leeds in the semi-finals. And it proves to be a very, very good game then. So there are my stats. Not amazing, I know, but when you only have a few chances, it's harder to get the higher uh, pass percentage, I believe. But there you can see just the replay again at the end of the game. The goal. And 
how Tom won that header, I do not know, but I think he'll be getting there, timing it well, getting the header in. So next up, we're in the semi-final, we're playing Leeds. We know they're a good side, but this night, we've got a full 11. We're feeling confident. They are a championship team, but I know they're doing quite well, and they know they're a decent team. So we just got to do what we can do and play some football. Here you can see we changed to the black kit, but we had to back out because when we got into the game, we had the blue kit on. So we don't really know what happened. But we get into the game. And this game was a nightmare. There you can see we've had to change our name because what happened this night was um, half an hour before kickoff, we actually came up against them in season, so we both backed out. But because of that, it glitched the lobbies and we couldn't find each other, so we had to change clubs. And that's what we did. So it was a bit of a nightmare night really to start with. We finally got the game going. With Steli here into Tum. Now Reese has got it, he plays a lovely ball over the top to Carlos, he looked offside, he do not care, he tucks it in, three minutes on the clock, 1-0 Brighton, what a start, what a start, the perfect start, all these cup games we seem to get that early goal, and it's what you want, it's, what you, it's how you'd plan it, you want it to settle you down, you're hoping that there's no momentum in the game, but who knows, hey? <laughs> So hopefully everything is just so going to be as normal and we just go again, we go again. So we're coming forward here, but Leeds cut it out, but Tom's done well to battle it through. He's got the ball just on the edge of the box. That was so close to a penalty. Timed it well. <laughs> and Spice that gets his yellow card. Now Tom's got it here. He's probably going to crash it across. I think he went for across the goal to try and get the keeper to palm it out, but it didn't quite work. Now he's got it here, he rolls it inside the dock. Dock has fouled this time. It's the same player. It's another yellow. And it's a red. This is awkward. So now Reese is on this one. Reese does like to have a shot, but I think he thinks it in this time. It's a good ball, but look at that acrobatic clearance. And they take it away. Now we've got it again here with Doc. He plays it out to Justin. Good first time passing to Tum. Tum into Carlos. Come on, Carlos. Bury this. And he's just offside. Carlos offside? Really? I hold a little ball inside there just to play it inside to Carlos. Carlos plays it with Doc. This is where you want the link up. Now me and Carlos, me again. I hold it. I wanted to go around him, but he's put a foot in and fouled me. He's got another foul top of the box. This time Reese plies it in again. And this time again they defend it really well. But that's up in the air this time. And now they're going to clear it this time. And look at the delay he had there. You could see he had a delay there. But he managed to get it clear. Now Leeds are coming forward again. They're on the edge of our box. Near the D is a good little fake. All the bounces are going back to him. But Jay makes the save when he's called upon. 35 minutes on the clock. They're desperate to get a goal from it. To get on level terms. From the corner, they whip it in, but again, Jay come for it. This time he missed it because the defender, uh, a striker got in front of him. It's up to me, but I'm not going to win that header. But I managed to get in. Now I'm looking to run clear. I cut inside, but cutting inside, let them reduce the angle. They took out the sweat. Instead of cutting inside, I should have just passed it. So I had to drive it across the goalkeeper, hoping he'd parry it out. And now from the corner, we do back post this time, looking for the knockdown. We get the knockdown, but it falls to one of them, and they manage to clear it. And this is from the corner, guys. They're coming forward. Tom's lost it in midfield. Has put us in a really bad position here. There's a goal. And that's from our corner. And it's not clearing our lines. And now it's 1-1. You see, Tom's got it there. He's been caught on the ball. And he's given them the opportunity to get 1-1. So there's the stats, guys. We're a much better team. They're decent. They're a good defensive team. But we've got a free kick here. Reese whips it in. But they managed to clear it. Now I've got it here. I just hop it onto Carlos. Carlos should have hit it there. It's fell to Mr. Velvet Blue. Defender gets a block. And then he clears it. 58 minutes on the clock. But we're not finished yet. We're still coming forward. Dot holds it out to Mr. Velvet Blue. 
He's looking for options. He plays it easy to Justin. They're backing each other up. Justin's still got it. We need a cross, Justin. It doesn't come, but we've got a long throw. Carlos couldn't get the header, but we still keep it going. Now Tom's got it. He's worked it inside. And he's made up for his error. What a hit. What a hit. And guys, we've been saying that for a long time. This year, pro keepers do not like long shots. They do not. And you can score like that and that is you but you've got to have a shot to score the goal so that is a great goal to put us back in the driving seat now what can Leeds do now Tom's got it here he tries to play that to Carlos he claimed a good pass but I'm pretty sure that was for Carlos it went to Doc and off back to Carlos who couldn't quite put it away now they've got a long throw here, that's a great nod down, look at that little touch on, they should be level, but that is a fantastic work throw, they've got another long throw here, we've already had the warning, we don't win the header again, and Tom on the edge of the box has been caught on the ball again, they rob him and smash it in for 2-2, two -two. can you believe it, from Hero to Zero. Jay can't do nothing about that. Jay will even tell you, just close down that shot from the edge of the box. The pro keepers don't like shots like that, but we've got another chance here with Carlos, but that is a great interception from the defender. And it's how it finished, and we're going to golden goal. As you can see, we probably deserve to win the game. Both their goals have come from just losing possession on the edge of the box, but it's the way it goes, guys. It's FIFA. So the golden goal game, now we know we've both scored from a long shot so obviously the team talks of both teams are going to be if you get a goal hit it if you get a sight of goal just have a pop don't try and walk it in they get the chance early they play another one triangle over the top but that is great defending we were worried about the foul but they sealed him out and snuffed it out straight away now mr velvet's got it here to tumness Tumnus with the free ball to Carlos, he looked like he's lost it, then he hit it, and then he wins it. Get him. Brian are in the final of the League Cup. We've actually got a chance of winning silverware after the season we've had. And guess who's next? It's Man United. You all probably know it, you've all probably seen his video already, but it is Brighton versus Man United. Can we do it? Both teams have had a very... We probably had the better finish to the season to them as well. We only finished a place behind them. But it is Ever HD Gamer versus World of JCC in the final of the VFL EFL Cup. This is the celebrations we don't want to see. This is not what we want to see. This is what we want to see. We want to see them looking like this at the end of this game. We don't want to give them no well, encouragement. The we know they're season. a good team. We know they've beat good sides, right but so have we. And we know we've drawn with these do. in the league. So this is a different Man United team. They're stronger. You can see it from the off. They looked good. They looked up for it. And they had a full 11. Carlos has got it on the edge here, but they managed to clear it with Dr. Stadra. Got a long throw here. We can't win the flick on, but it's hold back in, but hey, have it. Anyway, they're coming down the left now. He puts the ball in, it's a good cross, but it comes straight back out to him. It's a good little bit of trickery, he's a good player, this guy. Cuts it back to JCC, but we've got bodies charging him down, and he's not going to get a clear shot of that. Now Tom's got it here. Play a ball into Carlos, but he's intercepted. I tried the ball well to throw the defender off, but he didn't fall for it. But Carlos has still got it. He has a pot on the weak foot. That is just what of the post. So we get the corner. I put the corner in front post. It's a great header. They can't get it on target. Now they've got a throw in. They've got it wide. He's battled to get round the back. And now Man United have a corner. This was a really good final, guys. Really tense. And then you can see it. I forgot to mention it. Jay couldn't play the second leg of the semi-final or the Golden Goal version of the uh, semi-final. He had to go out, so that meant he couldn't play the final, so we had to take Ads out of the pitch. Now we've got a long throw here. I deliberately go off the pitch, guys, because I've seen a lot of other teams do it. It didn't come to me anyway. 
They didn't expect her to go to Carlos, and Carlos has slipped that header in. I don't know how. It's the tightest of tight angles, but we're 1-0 up just before half-time. Now they've got it here, but we get a good block just on the edge of the area. So it's now a Man United corner. They win the header, but we get the block in, and it's another corner. And these corners were so dangerous. It's a great corner, but it's over everyone. The back push man was not quite deep enough. And there you can see, you can't get more even than that at half time. They've had slightly better of the possession, but they, they probably did definitely deserve to probably be level, if I'm honest. But that goal caught them out. Now we've got this chance here. Top of the box, we've seen this free kick a lot. He whips it in, I get my head on it, but I can't keep it down. If only that would have crashed in off the bar, that would have been a dream. But now they're coming forward there, that's a great shot and that's a great save from Adam. You've got to remember guys, he's not a goalkeeper, he's just probably one of our best players for the season. Mr. Versatile he is. He misses that one though, but we managed to back him up like you want your defenders to do, is back your goalkeeper up. Carlos has got it here now, I'm up the top creating space i take a touch now i had a funny game i do the backwards body faint that's our one triangle guys and it's gone to no one and i had a really strange game because every cross i done just kept not going how i wanted it and i tried every button combination with the cross every time i got a chance i played a different button but there you can see as a scramble at the corner it's 67 minutes on the clock and now they're coming forward they again. They work it into Pelé into midfield. And we manage to smother the shot and put it out for another corner. And this is getting ridiculous. They're having corner after corner. And now it goes 74 minutes on the clock. And it's another one. They whip it in again. But again, we're defending so well. Yeah, we're on the back foot now. But we knew we would be. And you should be. When you're playing against a good team and you're one them up, they're going to try as hard as they can to score. And they just keep getting corner after corner. Can we hold on? Pele rolls it in to Dr. Stage Eye. He whips it in and it's another great header out. But again, they're picking up the pieces. And again, Ads makes a save where he's just had to tip it round the post. So they've got another corner. And these are all in succession, guys. Again, it's a great save from Ads, but this time he follows it up and smothers it. 80 minutes on the clock. Now Man United are coming forward again. JCC's got it here. We get a good tackle in. And now he should be cleaned out. Without a doubt, he should have been cleaned out. He's got the ball in. And he's caught the defence on the back foot. And Man United get the equaliser. That is absolutely devastating. We were so gutted. And to be fair, I could, it's easy to say after the game, they deserved it, guys. They were pushing and pushing. And we were trying to hit them on the break. They held us off. They got the goal. And now Carlos has got a chance here. If that would have been in the corner, that would have been very interesting, but it's a good save from Kels. So from the corner, we whip it in. Stelly gets his head to it, but he just can't get over it, and it's over the bar. And now I've got it out wide. I do a heel to toe to get a run up on it. I whip it in. But this time, no one's round the back post, but Mr. Velvet Blue keeps it in. Can he get the ball in again? He gets his cross block, it's the 90th minute, we're in stoppage time, we're deep in stoppage time, we've got a corner, they've got their men on the line, we've managed to get it past the keeper, but the man on the line clears it. They pump it forward here, we win the header again, it's going out of play, and it's looking like it's golden goal again guys, so the semi-final we won on golden goal. Can we do it in the final? As you can see, Brighton, uh, Brighton couldn't hold on. Man United definitely deserved the equaliser. And that was a tough, tough game. But that was a great game. So now we're into Golden Goal again. Same scenario, guys. If you get a chance to well, shoot, make sure you take it. Make sure you hit it. Well, be focused and be sure. So Man United start off, they've got the ball here. Dr. Stadroy plays it up the line. And they play it inside. Now they've got a chance here with Pelé. I thought he was going to hit it first time, but we managed to block the second chance. And now they've got a corner. It's two minutes on the clock. That's so nerve-wracking, guys. You're in a final and you're playing golden goal. But I saved comfortably from ads there. And now they're coming forward again. Tom gets it there. But he turns back into him. Now they've worked it past him. And 
lost. The commentator said as a deflected shot. Don't know how bad the deflection was. You couldn't really see it. It would have been slow, but you can tell by the reactions of the keeper. And that's it. That's the picture we end up seeing. So obviously this is me. And this is JCC. I like it. And then this is me. <laughs> now, in all fairness, guys, they probably just about deserved it. And JCC is the winner, so he gets his crown. But I thought with his attire he's got on there, a tiara would be more fitting. So please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Yeah.